Hello everyone and welcome back guys to a brand new video where today we're here back with episode 8 of our F1 2021 Breaking Point series. Yesterday we're here back, finally! I've been doing so well <clears throat> with the double uploads from this series, but the last few days it's just been impossible to record are all too much here in the UK. So I thought, you know, my team is certainly the top priority, but I thought today we'd try and jump back in and get towards the end of Breaking Point here. If I'm not mistaken, we've got three more chapters, two more videos to go. Here of F1 2021 my team, if I remember correctly. Uh, but obviously, if you didn't miss out on the last video, like I said, obviously it did go live a couple of days ago now. Uh, so definitely worth going back and checking out. We're up to 1.3 million followers as a Cash Brackman here. That's that's not bad going, you know. If, however, we're not quite at 1.3 million followers on the Matt 212 channel. So if you are new around here and you aren't already, uh, make sure you get yourself subscribed as well, of course. But anyway, let's dive in then, see what's going on in Chapter... 14, I think. With another successful race weekend behind them, the team at Alfa Romeo are at their annual team dinner. I'd like to congratulate you all on a superb performance so far. Uh, there's still a lot of work to do, but uh, give yourselves a round of applause. You've been wonderful. <laughs> well, I'm sure you've all heard by now, but, uh, well, this will be Casper's last season as an F1 driver. And if you get the chance, then please do your very best to change his mind. <laughs> I'm only kidding, Casper. Uh, you will be missed. Anyway, I'll stop talking for once. <laughs> Have a wonderful evening and let's push for four. Look. I know how this works. I've been around long enough. I'm just saying, you have a future here. I've seen a lot of drivers come and go in my time. But you're special, eh? You've got the makings of a true great. I mean it. Casper! Hey, where's Zoe? Oh, she's around somewhere. She loves these things. Oh, and you don't? Wow. Mind if we join you? I'll be my guest. Come on, Aiden. Sit. Why didn't it work out between you two? Brian, I'd rather not discuss... I don't care what you'd rather, Aiden. Casper's leaving us, and I know that your agent's been talking to other teams. This could be the last chance the three of us get to chat like this. Who knows? We may not even see each other again after Abu Dhabi. So come on. What's the deal? Listen, I just want to have a nice evening. He's on more money than me. What? Ah, hence the frosty reception. Everybody started talking about my age. Just wanted to prove myself. Prove that I was better than the next flavor of the month. This was not about you, Aiden. I just... I don't know. What about you? He didn't want me on the team. Didn't I? You wanted Ricardo instead. And you thought I was past my best. What? But that's not true. You're having an amazing season. Could you verify that number for me? That's right. And that's the contracted amount, yes? Yeah. Do you mind if we show him? <laughs> you two are a couple of chumps, do you know that? And you should know better. I don't understand. No. But he does. It would be funny if it wasn't so tragic. I wonder how many points all this has cost us. Well, I'll leave you to it. You can apologise to me later. I don't understand. I'm an idiot. Why? Paddock gossip. So none of this is true? There's always gossip in the paddock. And ever since he's arrived, it's 
been one man at the center of it all. Who? The man who told me pre-season last year that you signed a better deal. The man who said you thought that I was too old. And that would be the same man who told you I didn't want you signed. Butler? Yeah. And I believed him. How could I be so stupid? You're not stupid, Casper. I didn't think he had this in him. Why would he bother? But look at all the mess he's caused. The crash last year, the fight in Canada. And how much easier has he had it because of all of that? What can we do? Beat him. So a big, big turning point then in at breaking point there. With the team's chance of fourth place in the Constructors' Championship still alive and their fractious relationship now behind them and the Alfa Romeo teammates are determined to show the motorsport world what they can really do. Let's head to Suzuka then. Let's get P4 overall. Hey. Hey. How are you finding it out there today? <sighs> Tough. We're overheating the tires a little through the S's. Yeah, happens. Do you mind if I join you for a moment? Please. They want us to push for fourth. You think Alpha Tauri are catchable? Maybe. Butler's having a good season. He claims he has been approached by Ferrari. I heard. He is the more experienced driver. I think the seat goes to him. You said it had always been your dream to drive for them. Is that true? Yeah. It is. Okay, I'm going to give you space out there. I'm sorry I didn't do that before. I'm sorry too. I want us to push for four. I want us to beat Butler. And I want that seat to go to you. Thanks, Casper. I don't know how we make that happen, but thanks. Well, we work together, help each other out. That's all we can do. Then let's do that. Yeah. Uh, we've adjusted the camber. Seems to help manage the tire temperatures a bit better. Yeah? I'll get them to share my setup data with you. Just see how it feels out there. Thank you, Casper. Truce. Truce. seems to be picking up then ready for the end of the year there between Cass Rackerman and Aiden Jackson uh, Suzuka looms large the end is nigh been the site of many title deciders over the years and with the standings remaining tight this season looks to be no different so the stage is set for the Japanese Grand Prix to be as pivotal as ever with fans as character uh, characterful as they are passionate Suzuka is an exciting today as it was when they first held the Japanese Grand Prix back in 1987. I didn't actually know that. Fair play, Formula One. I generally thought it was a few years prior to that. So, yeah, Suzuka pretty much had action uh, right from the very beginning then. Let's dive in to, I'm guessing, the Japanese Grand Prix. Aiden, Casper, hey, have you got a moment? Yeah, of course. That camber adjustment really helped. I guess I just wanted to thank you. Not a problem. Those tyres in a better range now? Much more manageable. Thanks. Well, those milliseconds all add up. Brian says we can catch Alpha Tori. <laughs> Brian says a lot of things. Just focus on the next race. Thanks, Casper. I'll see you trackside. With several laps remaining then, Ackerman sets his sight on both of the Alpha Towers in an effort to snatch some much needed points from their championship rivals. Let's dive into the Japanese Grand Prix. We're seeing both Butler and Gasly's lap times increasing. I still had time to catch them. 
Roger. We're on fresher tires than they are. Push, push. Let's put the pressure on. Yeah, copy. Right, let's do this thing then here at Suzuka Gasly. Just a couple of places up the road there, and I'm not too sure where Devin Butler is at this stage of the race. Haven't actually driven around Suzuka yet here on F1 2021. I think there's a couple of slight remodeling changes once more on this year's game, but it is Devin Butler is just ahead of Pierre Gasly as well. So we haven't got long. Let's try and get past Sainz and Ricardo as well here. Not too sure where Aiden is a bit further up the road as well, but fingers crossed here yeah, we can get past Sainz and Ricardo first. Here we go then, all over the back of Carlos Sainz as we head down in towards the 130R. It might be a power move into the corner. Up the inside we go. Oh, Sainz tried to turn in, but I mean, absolutely none of it there. And up past the Spaniard, up into P13 of the Grand Prix. Let's push. Gasly not far at the road still at this stage of the day as we try to get a run on Danny Rick out of the final couple of corners. To the inside we go, back down towards Hermunder, and that should be a nice simple move. I'm sure Sainz not too happy. But we certainly are there. Now up into 11th. We got both. Uh, sorry, yeah, into 12th even. Sorry, we got both Rav Towers just in our sights. As we've actually got a slower car. One of the Alpines has come out right in front of them. Over the back now of Pierre Gasly. There, as you can see, he gets horrible traction out of the second Degner, and there's nothing Gasly can do on his older rubber. There has to bail out even on the way into the hairpin. There, we go clean around the outside. Now all we've got left is Devon Butler to try and navigate in at this Grand Prix. Of course, the man that has stood the pot all season long. As well, can we pull off another power move down in towards 130R? Oh, Devon just a little bit slow on the exit of Spoon. So we just get all under the back of him there to the outside of Devon Butler. Aiden's into the pit lane as well there. And we do try and get all the way around the outside there. The Avatari, not the same sort of straight line speed as we saw from the Ferrari. And we're now up into P10 of this race. We've got Alonso just in front of us as well, of course. But there might still be a few more spots to be had as the top guys leave the pit lane as well. Heading back down towards Turn 1. Let's see if we get a bit closer to our teammate Aiden Jackson. It's going to be mighty close between the pair of us here as we head in towards 130R. Uh, sorry, 130R and towards Turn 1 even. Oh, that was not great. Aiden way, way slower. And still a bit all over the road. All over the back now of our teammate Aiden Jackson as we head out of Spoon. If we want to go for a move, we've got to do it nice and cleanly. At this stage of the race there, slightly more rubbing in tyres. He's going to give us an advantage this time round. But we'll try and carry him along to the end of the Grand Prix. We know there's a bigger chance of more and more points here. I think Alonso and Stroll both definitely possible to beat. Let's keep our head down. We've got five more laps to go. Let's do this. Must admit, the new remodel of Suzuka is pretty nice to drive on once more on F1 2021. They really have made this track a whole lot more raceable. In at the recent games. Up the inside of Alonso we go, though. In through the hairpin. That's going to be another move completed. And even more points potentially for the team as well. Things you love to see. Stroll up next. We might be able to get him down in towards the Casio Triangle. Stroll strolling a bit out of Spoon. Down to the outside we go of the Canadian. Are we going to get fully ahead of him before the next corner? No, Stroll's going to keep the nose there. Oh, we both have to lift out the throttle ever so slightly. Wasn't sure how brave Stroll would be. But we're up to 7th. Next up, Charles Leclerc in P6. We're pretty happy if we can close it to him. Taking more and more time out, Charles Leclerc with just two laps to go. All oh, that this Grand Prix, the gap down now to under half a second as we head it through 130R. And maybe we can try and get a run back down in towards turn one, gain even more as we head it through the Casio Triangle. We're really trying to get up to the back of the Ferrari gearbox out of the final turn. Over where the old bump used to be, DRS engaged, Charles Leclerc does go defensive. Keep this up. He's no longer the car ahead, he's now the car behind in this Grand Prix. Now up into sixth place here at Suzuka. Norris five seconds up the road, don't think we're going to close it to him at the end. But we'll keep our head down and try to bring home eight valuable points for the team. Well, it's Sergio Perez that takes home the race of victory here at the Japanese Grand Prix. A good haul of points for Red Bull in their fight with Mercedes at the top of the championship. But as we head through the final couple of corners... Both myself and Aiden are going to be able to take a nice chunk of points out of Alpha Tari as well at the end of this weekend, which is really, really important for us as a well there. I think it was Max Verstappen P2, Edda Hamilton and Valtteri Bottas there as we head through the final couple of corners, so completely draining the battery down through 130R into the rules the Casio Triangle. A little bit out of shape on the way, but that's not going to matter too much. Down towards the line, P6 at the end of the Japanese Grand Prix. We needed that. 
That's the end of the race. We'll see you in Park Ferme. It was a magnificent race and a drive right out of the top draw to take the win for Red Bull today. Alfa Romeo continue to put the pressure on Alfa Tauri. That gap might still be a little too big to close, but for Alfa Romeo, it's very much game on. Yeah, and I think back even just a couple of months, Crofty, I didn't have Alfa Romeo pegged to be competing with Alfa Tauri. Both Jackson and Ackerman performing at their absolute best out there today. Well, they certainly were, and no sign of any disputes on or off track between the pair of them. Might they have put their differences behind them? Here come today's winners. The team at Red Bull have done a phenomenal job recently. It's clear to see that they've put in the work and they should be proud of the victory they secured here. Good day today. Let's have your take on it. Solid performance out there today, Casper. You must be pleased. Yeah, the competition feels like it's fiercer than ever this season. And the team is working really hard to keep up, so we're grateful for every point we earn. Those points bring you a little bit closer to Alpha Tauri. Is that something you're particularly focused on during the race? Absolutely. We're into the business end of the season now, and we want to climb as many places as we can. Right now, that means catching Alpha Tauri. So, any time we can put the pressure on a little, that's good for us. We asked Devin Butler a similar question. He said, and I quote, Alfa Romeo are a bit of a shambles. I don't think they're catching us anytime soon. What's your response to that? Sounds to me like uh, the words of a man running scared. Appreciate your time. Zoe. Daddy. Hey, Lils. Mommy says you're in America where the cowboys live. Yeah, Daddy's in America. Are you racing with cowboys, Daddy? <laughs> One or two. Hey, who's your favorite racing driver, Lils? You are. Just checking. Love you. Love you, Daddy. Hey, can I speak to Mum? Hello? Apparently she enjoys hanging up on you these days. <laughs> so it seems. All set? Yeah, all set. The odds are shortening on the fourth place finish for Alfa Romeo. It's a shame. I enjoyed being the underdog. You've still got to beat Butler. We've still got to beat Alpha Tower, you mean? That too, I guess. Right, you go and prepare. See ya. Bye. Right, well, there we are then. The end of chapter 13 and 14 here of our My Team playthrough. Two chapters to go, like I said, if I'm not mistaken, uh, ready next time out as well. But a massive thank you for all the continued support on the channel. Obviously, we're nearing 16,000 subscribers at the moment, so if you aren't already, make sure you get yourself subscribed. But yeah, we'll be back very, very soon, ready for the Grand Prix here from Kota. None of these videos could be possible without the support of our channel members. So a massive thank you to the Travesty, Patrick, Chuan and David Bennett for becoming channel members. You can join them and be featured in these end clips by clicking the join button down below.